That is the question, Patrick. Based on our questions about the chain of custody, it would have to come down to Milwaukee police answering those questions, but the department is not confirming whether it still has the phones or knows where they are. It is a simple question from what should be a straightforward case. Where are the phones belonging to Milwaukee activist Vaughn Mays, which he claims were taken during his arrest in June? Can you tell me why y'all arrested him? He's got a warrant. For what? That's his business, not... Two months after the arrest, 12 News broke the story the district attorney was not filing charges against Mays in the case because of a lack of evidence. Mays claims Milwaukee police still have the phones, tweeting, I still have not received one piece of paper or document of this supposed search warrant, and I still don't have my phones months after no charges. The tweet came after 12 News reported the judge who signed the warrant to search the phones was not recusing himself in a separate lawsuit where the Mays investigation would be discussed. And since no charges were filed against Mays in his case, 12 News also wanted to know where the phones were. The district attorney's office confirmed it was not part of the chain of custody and never had possession of the phones. That leaves Milwaukee police who conducted the Mays investigation. We asked the department directly, is it still in possession of the phones and where they are? So far tonight, the department provided no response. And checking my email right here, still no response from Milwaukee police to those questions, but we will continue to press them for the whereabouts of Vaughn Mays cell phones. Patrick.